What 30 seconds feels like it lasts the longest? Gotta be drowning or almost drowning. Gordon Lightfoot wasn't kidding when he said the waves turn the minutes to hours. Two incidents still stick in my head decades after they happened. Once at swimming lessons, before I could tread water and the instructor wasn't paying attention to me, and I started going under. It was probably only 30 seconds, but I thought that was it. Another time having a canoe overturn in Lake Erie, and trying to get it righted. That time I even had a life jacket, but the fact the waves kept throwing water over my face really made me think I was done for. Surprised it took me all the way down to your comment for this. The closest I have come is being flipped out of a white water raft. I was most definitely under for less than 30 seconds. But it felt like forever. We failed to perform a high side and everyone but the guide was tossed out of the boat. The raft came back down upside right. I didn't know this but all I could tell was that I couldn't get up to the surface. I was under the raft. Reaching around for anything I felt another person. I pulled them up, and they went higher than I was. Turned out that was my sister and she surfaced next to the boat. I pulled myself that way and final got air. All in total it could not have been more than 10 seconds. 15 to tops. But it felt like eternity. Came back down upside right that's. Did you mean came back down right side up? If not, I'm very confused. Earthquakes. I guess not as many people have experienced a significant earthquake of any duration. I can tell you the 19 seconds of the 1994 Northridge 6. 8 earthquake was unbearable. In the dark. Having been awakened by the ground moving violently in all the dimensional directions. With items flying at you from the shelves they were on. Crashing all around you as you are trying to get your bearings. And realize what is happening and what you should be doing. Or not doing. It was scary as hell. Even getting to the door frame, after having to pry the door open to get into it, you are still riding it out. And that is only 19 seconds. 30 seconds of that must be insane not knowing if it is going to slow down and stop. Get worse as it ramps up. I was in the middle of a 7.3 earthquake in Mexico recently. It only lasted a couple of seconds, but it was really freaky. I can't even imagine how weird it would feel for 19 seconds. And in the dark. Damn that's crazy. I was in Vegas when those earthquakes hit California last summer. And we only got a small part of it. But damn it was crazy. Lying in bed extremely hungover on the 30th floor of a hotel when the building started to shake. Was a very new experience coming from somewhere that has zero earthquakes. I was too hungover to get out of bed. And accepted that this might be the end. Wow. I feel bad for finding that funny. It's a good thing that you're okay though. Being in a court scanner, when they tell you to be perfectly still, and when they said to hold your breath, but not for how long, and you're just waiting for the all clear to breathe like, do I just pass out here? Don't want to mess up these scans. I would hate to inconvenience them by messing up their scan. I'll just pass out in their giant donut. Edit. During my last MRI they let me listen to music, and they told me to stay as still as possible. But they let me listen to jump around. House of pain. They played themselves. I'm a really tall with really long arms. I had to fold my arms up in some crazy position to get something scanned. Felt arms going numb about 1 minute into it. Arms went numb then completely dead in 5. Still had 20 minutes to go. My first ever MRI they didn't tell me how long it would be. Had to lay awkwardly on my belly with my arm over my head to get my wrist scanned. My arms went numb within a couple minutes too. Then part of my neck and both boobs. Cue a claustrophobia panic attack. Trying not to hyperventilate and not to move. Because I was trapped with my head in a box with pins and needles everywhere north of my belly for 45 minutes. Then I had to take the damned green line. Boston. Miserable overcrowded up jumped street cars. Home. Which is extra fun with your arm in a cast. I get out of and before MRIs now. Ask your PCP for a script for two before you get a scan. The pharmacist looks at you a little funny, but no more panic attack. Having explosive diarrhea course through your stomach at 2am, and you frantically dashing to the bathroom trying to anally vomit as quietly as possible without waking everybody else in the house up despite being in some of the most intense pain in your entire life. Anyway how was your Thursday op? The details you give scare me. 
trying to put my change back in my wallet in line at the convenience store with people in line behind me or when your card won't read in the debit machine. But you know you have the money in your account, so you have to run it two or three more times. I just shove my money in my pockets and put it in my wallet later. I just cut to the chase and throw my change on the floor before apologizing profusely and rolling around in an attempt to pick it up. It's inevitably going to happen anyway. The 30 seconds you are stuck on the wrong side of a locked bathroom door. What's the wrong side of a locked bathroom door? The side the killer is on. Dude. I'm not the killer. I was just eating oatmeal edit. Why the f are people assuming I am a serial killer? Serial killer is my cousin. Not me. Are you sure it's oatmeal and not post oatmeal? Getting an IUD placed. Oh god. When I got mine the doctor was tugging the string to make sure it was in the right place. The string snapped. So she had to get the duckbill thing and redilate me and put in a completely new one. This is the worst case scenario. I can't even imagine. You have my sympathies. I just kept thinking. This is worth 8 years of no worries. I had to have mine removed and reinserted after I'd had it for a year and I was unhappy. It still felt worth it. No babies and I get the metal version rather than my arena sono hormones. Waiting for someone to get out of the bathroom and then you just have to hold your breath and hurry. Praying the tail doesn't grow longer. What? Praying the tail doesn't grow longer. Washing machine says 30 seconds. It is never 30 seconds. I've actually timed my washing machine and it is around 4 minutes. Not sure why it always says 30 seconds. The ones at the laundromat say 28. I set my timer for 28. It goes off. I check. They say 4. Liars and cheats. The lot of them. Literally what is it with washing machines and their own time pace? Baffles me. You're probably overloading your machine. Or have items that absorb a lot of water in there. Blankets. Denim ETC. It'll adjust the timer if it thinks there's still too much water inside. That gooey stuff they put in your mouth when you have braces. Yo I did this and my gag reflex was so bad I started crying and retching at the same time than I let out the largest burp I've ever had and it echoed throughout the entire office mayo. Same. My gag reflex has always been intense. I think it took them like 5 tries to get an okay mold. Weirdly enough, I don't have that bad of a gag reflex normally. Like, it's nothing to write home about. But I'm not one of those gags while brushing their teeth types either. I'm pretty solidly average. Whatever that goop was, though, just set me off. I couldn't do it. I almost immediately started choking until I was full on crying. It took several tries to get me all the way through it. I'm gagging a little bit just remembering it and it's been at least 15 years since I last had it done. The terrible taste slash smell slash gritty texture of that putty will haunt my nightmares until my dying day. Also, it seems they used about 20% more than necessary and if they had just used less, this gag thing wouldn't even be an issue. The moments after sending a risky text and you see so and so is typing. But it keeps starting and stopping. Reminds me of a tweet that went something like, you ever send a text that's so risky, you clean your entire house, better than being left on read. You can no longer send messages to this contact. At least you have a definitive reaction slash closure in that instance. Left on read is kinda worse. I asked this girl out one time. We were friends. But not really close. So I felt like it was a good potential date opportunity and put myself out there. It wasn't the first message between us or anything. She just left it on read. I would 1000% rather get a straight rude response in return than no response whatsoever. It basically led to two days of self-consciousness until I concluded that she doesn't respect me, nor I her anymore. F that shit. My toothbrush vibrates every 30 seconds letting me know it's time to switch sides. Sometimes it feels like I brushed for 4 minutes and it vibrates again. Okay. Question. I just got an electric toothbrush. How on earth do you spit without having toothpaste drool dribble down your chin? I can't take the brush out. Because then it sprays the drool all over the bathroom. If I don't spit, it still runs out. I just got an electric toothbrush. And I have to wash my beard every time I use it. 
Edit. Thank you all for the kind. And not so kind. Replies. I'm not using way too much toothpaste. The small bristles don't hold as much as a regular toothbrush. And I've never been one to use toothpaste like the commercials. I will try using less though. And that may solve the problem. As I said in my original comment. Simply removing the toothbrush from my mouth would create the bigger problem of the spinning brush flinging pasty water all over the bathroom. My toothbrush conveniently comes with three settings. So turning it off to remove it from my mouth requires cycling through the settings. And I find washing my beard to be easier. Plus I'm not sure if the timer resets or not when you turn it off. Though I guess the workaround is to time it at one of the 30 second intervals. Or to just brush my teeth for the extra 20th seconds. I will also try tilting my head up. Though this will rob me the pleasure of staring at my stupid face for 2 straight minutes. Turn off the brush. Spit. Turn it back on. Does it reset the timer? Mine has 3 settings. So I'd have to cycle through them all each time. The good ones don't reset. They allow a few seconds of on slash off for you to pause and spit. Then restart.